Take a look. The new target of protester violence last night, the Multnomah County building. It was vandalized. A fire was set inside. Today, county leaders are condemning that destruction. Lisa Balick, live in Southeast Portland with more on this. And I think, Lisa, the question is, what's ahead here? Yeah, that is a big question. They're expecting more problems again tonight, possibly even here. Now, there was fire, smoke, and water damage inside the office over there. You can still see broken glass on the ground. The county building, by the way, is the home for the sheriff's office. The sheriff has his office inside, but it's also home to dozens of social service agencies for the county. A line is crossed when peaceful protests become violent. The unprovoked actions by those who engaged in criminal behavior last night is reprehensible. Multnomah County Sheriff Mike Reese today expressing growing frustration with peaceful demonstrations turning violent. This time caught on camera, glass in windows and doors smashed with rocks. Lighter fluid poured inside and burning material thrown in setting the Office of Community Involvement on fire. Portland police moved in declaring a riot and got protesters out of the area making a couple of arrests. No one was inside the building at the time. County leaders say there was no reason to target the property where marriage licenses, passports, and social services are provided, including stockpiling protective equipment donations used to fight COVID. If the fire had spread, or if that life protecting equipment had been damaged by smoke and water, then health care workers, patients, and seniors would have paid the price. This was the third county building damaged by protesters in recent months. So far at a cost of more than a million dollars, not including the damage done last night. Portland's police chief today said the violence further demonstrates the intent to engage in anarchy at the expense of the entire community. The solution is in critical mass of community and partners coming together. I asked the sheriff, why not try and stop this before there's so much damage done? Like perhaps a ring of officers around the building as demonstrators approach. Each night is different. Uh, we don't know necessarily who's going to be participating, what their intent is, and whether or not they'll engage in criminal activity. Now, I reach out to the mayor's office asking the question, why is the violence allowed to continue night after night? I did not get a response, but the mayor's office did issue a statement today saying the mayor condemns the criminal destruction. Live in Southeast Portland, Lisa Balick, Point 6 News. Lisa, I'm glad you reached out to the mayor's office because we haven't heard from him in a while.